talk. It is now time for the next speaker. Hi there. So great to be able to be with you, even though I'm not uh, with you physically. Um, my name is Jody Schneider. I'm in the United States where I research uh, many topics in, focused on information. What I want to tell you about uh, today is Wikimedians as information intermediaries. I've been working particularly about COVID-19 and some other topics that I'm looking to talk with more Wikipedians about. Um, so first I want to talk about the idea of information disorder. Um, there's all kinds of um, information that, that we as, um, as, as Wikimedians often um, try to prevent from, um, from, from showing up, right? Ranging from things that are utterly, um, you know, meant to be, to be for fun, satires and, and parodies to things that are fabricated, right? So, so Wikimedia fights this sort of information disorder, um, but how? Who is it that, that that happens? Well, I would say it's because the, um, the systems of, of, of people um, and, and, and the support around, right, is there's this, this information intermediary work that, um, that, that is, is happening, right? Um, an information intermediary um, means someone who's moving knowledge around, creating connections between researchers and their various audiences. And so what I've been, been looking at is how is it that Wikimedians and other information intermediaries are gathering and making sense of scientific and technical information? Um, how is it that we're assessing the quality and utility of scientific and technical information? Um, how are we translating between experts and the general public? How do we make sure that, that the information that's there is, um, is good? Um, so as I'm, as I'm doing this kind of research, what I'm, what I'm focusing on this to, to start with is, um, is, is COVID-19. And you see from my, my U.S. context, some of the, the kinds of um, information that, that have, have, um, we've seen in the past handful of years. So we're taking in this, in this research um, two different approaches. One is talking to people, right? Having interviews uh, with Wikimedians, journalists, activists, fact checkers, filmmakers, bloggers, influencers, anyone who is that kind of information intermediary, moving information from uh, across different communities. Um, the second kind of thing that we're doing is what I would call document analysis. It's basically looking at stuff um, that people have shared um, and to try to understand what in, what's what's there. Um, right now, we're, we're focusing on uh, a particular um, scientific um, research paper that's a review article, a Cochrane review, and analyzing the on online attention, the altmetrics. That's a paper called Physical Interventions to, Interve to Interrupt or, or Reduce the Spread of Respiratory Viruses, which is some has been used um, since it was published to, to talk a lot about, um, about masks. So, um, uh, what I what I want to um, to say is contact me if you want to talk to uh, to to my team uh, about this. So far, we've talked to ten people about COVID nineteen on various um, in, uh, it, from from various of these of these perspectives, um, and we'd love to talk to uh, a bunch of Wikimedians. My um, uh, Topics coming up will be climate change and AI and labor. Who's relevant? Anybody who's editing um, in these areas, who's moving information around, right? So um, the kinds of things that we talk to people, usually we have, uh, we try to have about an hour to have um, maybe a video conversation. One and we ask, lifts. what does the process of gathering information look like for you when you're working on these scientific and technical topics? What types of information did you look for? How did you know a source was credible? Um, how do you see your source in spreading information? Who is your typical audience? Um, so if that sounds interesting and, and you're, uh, you'd like to have a conversation help in, in the research that we're doing, and I look forward to coming back and telling you what we know out of this, um, my, um, my research uh, lab has a, a web page, in, infoquality.org, um, and there's a knowledge brokers page. You can also find me um, on 
Um, Wikis, especially English Wikipedia is, is my, my main, but you can find me on Meta and other places as, as user uh, jody.a.schneider. Thanks a bunch. Have a great rest of your time in Singapore, and I'll see you guys online, I hope. That was very educative session. We all believe that Wikimedians have been playing a major role as intermediary between the researchers and the uh, readers. So 